Welcome to the Edit Position Details page for the interview you're about to create. This is where you're going to create the administrative information relative to the interview. Um, there are three key parts or four key parts to this page. We have the admin bar in the top right. You'll notice that the Create New Interview button is gone because it's been replaced by a link, My Interviews, which will take you back to the My Interviews page where you were just at. Uh, then we've got some administrative uh, details regarding the position uh, that we're going to enter some data in. Then we've got a chance down there at the in the, in the middle bottom of the page to edit the introductory statement that will start the interview off. And at the very bottom, we've got action buttons where you can cancel the work you've done or you can save the work that you've done uh, so that you can move on and, and uh, create questions or answer the questionnaire that will create your interview. In the position details section, obviously, you're going to you're going to fill in what job you're interviewing for and your company name and your department name and your interviewer and interviewee. The only uh, field that's required is position so that you can keep your interviews uh, separate from one another. Um, we leave the interviewee blank if we like uh, because we may want to reuse this very interview. Um, you don't have to put the company name in if you don't want. Uh, you'll note though that in the introductory statement editing box down in the middle bottom of the page that um, company is in brackets so that that will be filled in for you if you fill in the company name and position details. You don't have to fill in the interview date. Um, you don't have to fill in the interviewer because you may have multiple interviewers interviewing a particular candidate. Always a good idea to, to change the creation date. That's smart, uh, but it's not required. The introductory statement can be edited. Uh, it, it's a chance for you to um, uh, perhaps personalize the comments. We recommend that when you start an interview, you say some things to relax the candidate a little bit, not too much. Um, and if you're uncomfortable with anything in, in our suggested introductory statement, you can make changes as you wish. So why don't you enter the position details and so on, and, uh, and then click Save, and that will get us through the administrative portion of this new position you're going to create. In my case, I'm going to create a, an interview for an administrative assistant, uh, and that's what you're going to see here in just a minute.